All right, tennis fans. Um, decided to upload a quick video on using lead tape. I actually lead taped uh, my racket last night and really liked the way it changed the way this racket played. Um, I put a lot of lead tape on it and took some as I was playing to get a good idea of what I wanted. So now I'm going to make the final customization. So I've already taken the grip off because I'm going to be putting some lead tape in the handle um, to offset the lead tape that's up here. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh my racket. And you'll see that my racket weighs 290 grams. So now we're going to walk over here to my swing weight machine. It's called a Babolat RDC. And we're going to go ahead and I put it on here. And I apologize for all the jittery. This is the camera, but I'm only one person. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the swing weight on and we're going to see what the machine registers. So as you see, the, the, the machine says it's at 322 with the swing weight. But I'm going to grab 3 8 inch lead tape just because I'm putting it on the handle. So, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add the lead tape. And we'll upload the second video showing what the lead tape looks like. Okay, so as we can see, my racket is at 289 grams now. It was 290. But I cut four strips of lead tape equally the same. And that's going to bump us up to 299 grams according to my scale. Eight. And because I'm a one-handed player, I don't want to adjust the size of my grip. So I'm going to put the strips right here on the handle, um, starting from the top. And then that way, I can still effectively add weight without adding a lot of swing weight, but at the same point in time, keep it from affecting my bottom grip. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'll show you what that looks like. Before I add the lead tape, though, I just realized I didn't do the balance point of the racket so as you can see this racket with the lead tape is already coming up it won't even stay for even balance it's already head heavy so if we move it back that's two points head heavy that's three points head heavy that's four points head heavy five points six points so it's somewhere between five and six points head heavy so we're going to try and offset that. So to get an idea of what that looks like, it's halfway done. I just put the lead on the flat bevels. I didn't put it on the corners yet. Let's weigh it. It should be about 5 grams. And it is 294 grams. And now let's see what it does to the balance. So when we come over here to the balance, it's still not evenly balanced. But 1, 2, three, four. It's now about four points head heavy. So we're going to go ahead and see what just five grams does to the swing weight in the handle. All right, here we go. So swing weight, pull. And as you can see, swing weight went up, but only by two to 324. All right, so as we can see, I put all the lead tape all the way around the racket. Now granted, they're not perfectly um, straight. Um, it really doesn't make that much of a difference um, because of where it's being placed on the racket. As you'll see up here, they're definitely more equal as to where they're placed. So they're right, right on that string by the N in the zone for that one, and the E on speed. So, which if you look at the top, it's the third string down from where the paint changes colors. Same thing on the other side, third string down. So, it definitely matters more up there than it does on the bottom. But let's go ahead and weigh this out and see. We're expecting it to be about 10 grams. So, it should be right around 299 grams with the lead tape added. And as you can see, it's 299. So, let's go ahead and see what the balance has changed to. I'm expecting it to be about three points head heavy. Right there's three points head heavy, so it was spot on, so let's do it again. So right here, is even. if it was even, it wouldn't move. Slide it back, there's one. It's moving, slide it back, there's two. It's moving, slide it back, there's three points head heavy. And 
four points head heavy as you can see that's four points it's not moving at all so I'll try and get in closer that's four points if we move it closer to three points right there it comes off so somewhere between three and four points head heavy now we added five more grams to the butt of the racket so let's see what this does in terms of swing weight so here we are at the swing weight machine I'm gonna pull it back I'm gonna let it go so as you can see swing weight is 323 so adding that extra five grams really has an adjusted swing weight so we're gonna tweak the racket just to make sure and we're gonna do it one more time because the last reading we got was at 324 and it's at 323 so effectively adding the other five grams actually brought our swing weight down one now what's interesting is we're going to go ahead and we're going to weigh our Babolat Syntec grip I'm a huge fan of the Syntec grip from Babolat and we're going to see how much this grip weighs so as you can see that grip weighs 16 grams so essentially what that should do is that should bring our balance point pretty much to even once I add this grip to the bottom of the racket. So we're gonna try that and we're gonna see what it does. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so here we go with the replacement grip put on and we're gonna go ahead and weigh the racket. We're expecting it to be around 315 grams and it's 315 grams on the button. So now let's go ahead and check our balance. So we're at 27, the standard length, so we are now at even balance. Right now it's not moving, it's 100% at even, so let's slide our bar over. The racket is somewhere between even balance and one point headlight. Now we're gonna come over to the swing weight tool and see what the swing weight tool says that it's gonna be. So with the swing weight tool, we're gonna pull it back and measure the swing weight. And swing weight's at 325. So we kept our swing weight relatively minimal with the web tape that we added. And now I prefer an overgrip so let's go ahead and get an overgrip. And for this particular racket, I'm gonna use Turner Grip. So I grabbed a piece of Turner Grip. Let's see how much the Turner Grip by itself weighs. And the Turner Grip weighs right around five grams. So we're gonna add five more grams plus the little bit of tape to hold it on. So maybe six grams and see what that does. All right, so here we go with the Turner Grip installed. It doesn't go quite all the way up as I would like just because I have a grip six on my racket, which is four and three quarters, because um, I changed out the pallet. Um, this is what the old Pacific pallet looks like, just in case you were wondering. And it does have screws that go through it, which are right here. Um, but I was able to find some grip six pallets because I developed golfer's elbow and I needed a much bigger grip. So I found a vocal um, racket that I was able to weigh the racket with the turner grip. And we're gonna see that it weighs 320 grams. And now we're gonna check the balance. Hey, stop boys. So here we are. It's right at the 27 line mark which is even balance. And now we're gonna go and move it. So we're at one, two, so it's two points head light now. So not only is it two points head light, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check out and see what the swing weight is. And we're gonna pull. So, and as you can see, swing weight is at 324, which is exactly where I wanted it. Um, so, anyway, there you have it. Strung with Babolat Origin 17 in the mains, and we have all the lead tape on the inside the handle as well as at the very bottom.
Thank you for watching.